my bad. I just got my little thumbnail real quick. But anyway, what is going on, man? It is Miles here with another video. And today is going to be something real quick. I just want to give y'all some insight on something that I learned. It's a concept that I just learned this year. And it has helped me so far when I applied it to myself. And so I want to drop some gems and share with y'all what I've learned to see if when you apply it, it helps you. So we're gonna get straight into it. Okay, so look, I got my notes with me too this time, because it's a lot to it. So what I want to talk to y'all about right is this concept called Iggy Kai. Okay. Now this is a Japanese concept which mainly deals with the convergence of four areas or four aspects of life. Okay. You have what you love to do, what you get paid for, what the world needs, and what you're good at. Those four aspects. Each of those four aspects has their own circle and it's put as like a double band diagram. In fact, I'm gonna put it here for you to see. And so, apparently the secret to longevity is a deep purpose, which makes sense. And so, there were studies done on people in Okinawa, Japan, who lived, who were set to live the longest. They, they, this was a small group of people who had the most centurions on earth. And so there were studies done to understand why they, they had so many elderly people. So they, wrote, they did studies on people's purpose, people's passions, people's hobbies there their lifestyle habits and they ended up having this idea called the Iggy Cow, which is finding a purpose. And so I personally found out about this on a YouTuber's video name, Matt Ryan, I think. If it's not his, I'll, I'll put a link to the video I saw of his. But in that video, he, he mentioned how he did this Iggy Kai and he said that it was able to help him find his purpose as soon as i heard that i was like okay okay you know blah 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 okay whatever because usually we hear people say oh just find your purpose it's like yo can you give me something more better to say other than that and so when i saw his venn diagram i was like okay you know what maybe let me try it out let me try filling it out for myself to see if it works right and so i'm not gonna lie i sit down for two hours doing this venn diagram this whole thing and it works. <laughs> this, 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 this Japanese concept works. So I'm gonna go over everything on my my uh, Iggy Kai diagram and just go over it just so I can teach, I can tell y'all what it is that I learned and what my diagram was. And so maybe it'll give you an idea how to figure those out too. So look, so look man, so in terms of what I love, this is what I love category. Everything that I love, right? Number one. Chipotle, I know that's, I have to, I have to add Chipotle in there, but yeah, I do love Chipotle. So it was Chipotle, it was nature, chess, it was meditation, exercise, it was content creating, and it was also intermittent fasting, reading, building close relationships, and poetry, helping people, writing music, writing songs, and exercise. So those are the things that I love. So. When you, when, you, when you do yours, I want you to think of some hobbies that you have. Think of some, some things that you, could, that you cannot live without doing. Maybe it's photography, or maybe it's running, or maybe it's playing a, a, a sport. Write those down in that. And next, what you want to do is you want to go to what you're good at. So personally for me, I am good at writing. I'm good at speaking. I hope. I'm, I'm getting better. I hope I am. I'm good at sales i was a salesman for a little bit i'm good at management systems and coaching i did a little bit of uh, um, coaching for lacrosse so those are the things i would put in the category of what i'm good at and then for what i could what i could be paid for i could be paid for copywriting i could be paid for sales i could be paid for uh self-improvement strategies and making digital products and coaching and building systems so that's what i put for what i could be paid for now what the world needs, I could go on and on about what the world needs because right now the world is in shambles, but 
I'll just put it a little bit down for what the world needs. And I said that the world needs leadership, the world needs unity, the world needs automation, mentorship, love, and cash flow. It was broke. Economy is crashing. Everything is going out in, in shambles. So we all over the place right now in the world. So the rest of those are things that the world needs. And so inside each of these circles, there's small subsections of circles. Um, and there's four more categories, four subcategories within these, each circle. It's passion, profession, mission, and vocation. So in terms of my mission, it is to inspire, serve others, build leverage, uh, obviously make some babies. So got to have some babies, of course. Uh, build vibrant communities, create generational wealth foster close relationships and serve others at the end of the day that's why i'm all here to do with youtube i'm all here to to serve you so you watching i'm here to help you so if you are watching this and you have any questions anything that you want me to talk about let me know and i will do my best to give you the information that you need so that's what i got for mission in terms of passion coaching traveling combat training you know gotta be sniper with the hands and the guns too Com combat training Storytelling and learning plus sharing what I learned. So that's what I got for passion. In terms of profession, coaching, uh, and maybe like something with copywriting, something like that. And then in terms of vocation, I said inspiring people, leading people, and growing spiritually within myself too. And so now that that's all out the way, I ended up having my purpose which is in the middle the centerpiece of all of those things combining it's like, okay what is your iggy ka or your passion in life or what gets you out of the bed or what fuels you out of the bed right so personally this is what i have so my purpose in life i think i found it it may change you know it may change down the line but currently right now i think this is a good start for me to have my purpose right now is to travel more I need to get out the country. I need to travel some more, see the world. I need to build communities of people, hopefully an online community, a community of people watching. I need to lead and inspire the people in my community. And along the way, I need to grow spiritually because if I'm not growing, I'm slowing. I'm slowing down and I'm, I'm not adapting. I'm not evolving. That's not what I want. That's not what you want either. Another thing too, create a, a, an empire of generational wealth. I gotta have the bag, bro. I gotta get the bag no matter what. So I need that money on us, for real. And so that's one thing I need to do, create generational wealth. Along the way, I need to leave an, an exceptional legacy too. And so this is really just, when I say exceptional legacy, like I want like for people to look back, like yo, like when I die, like people be like, yo, he was a real nigga. Like, yo, like, he was like that guy, you feel me? So, this is also, when I say leave an exceptional legacy, this is also for you watching this, if you are a future descendant of mine, if I'm an ancestor to you, which is crazy to even say if I am, you know, this is for you to see my thoughts in the world, my worldviews and my philosophies, and you can see the person that I was and who your ancestor was, and I think that's dope. So, that's another thing too. And then I'll also say, Improving my health, for y'all that don't know, I mean, of course you don't know because I didn't talk about it, but I'm dealing with a stage three illness right now. I'm gonna talk more about that too, but improving my health is a really big goal of mine. And so that's something that's a part of my purpose. Not just physical health, but emotional health, mental health, and spiritual health along the way as well. And then lastly, it is automation. So using different resources to my advantage when building a business, whether it's AI um, or whether it's outsourcing, anything that can, that can be done to make what I do easier, which is leading and inspiring and creating the value for you, then that's also a part of the purpose. And so it's very important for me to incorporate that in terms of me fulfilling my goals. So that is what I learned is the Iggy concept it's, it's, it's the Iggy Kai, okay remember that the Iggy Kai. now you need to try for yourself 
see what works for you you know let me know what works for you let me know what you put inside each of your circles and what your purpose is and when you find what your purpose is that's one big step congratulations pat yourself in the back because now the grind really starts because now you got to actually go to it so that's the next step which is how do you get there and that's what life is all about so for me you know just looking at things that you can do to get to where you want to go work backwards there was a book i was reading it's, it's called uh, it was patrick bet davis book it was your next five moves and i just got done reading the book a month ago and he says grandmasters think 15 steps ahead and the average person doesn't doesn't think two steps ahead so if you want to be a grandmaster in whatever field you're in let's say it's business so it's easy to, for me to talk about a business idea like for, to relate it to business when you have a goal that you need or uh, make the goal as big and grand as it could be so big that it seems impossible right work backwards from that goal to where you are now to how you can get there you have to work backwards once you work backwards you realize okay it's not that hard you compartmentalize it and so it becomes much easier to, to, to accomplish that's why it really is man it's not that hard life is easy um sometimes you know life life could be life could be hard life could be easy too but it's just about how you use the rules of the game to your advantage so that is what i that's all i have to say today i'm not gonna make this a long video like i did with <laughs> now nah, i'm gonna stop doing that no nah, i'm not gonna make it a longer video like i did with my other ones just want to give y'all something real quick that you could apply to yourself some quick knowledge let me know what you think of it like comment subscribe down below too and hit that notification bell so i'm gonna let you know when i am posting again so until the next one like i always say man seize the day get up man stop being lazy accomplish your goals but your future you is gonna thank you if you don't do nothing that's tough you're gonna be sitting on the sidelines watching people play the game so don't be that person with that being said man like i always say man seize the day and I am out.